life's modernity has led us to an interesting paradox. We are more connected than ever, but we also tend to feel more alone. We are filled with commitments and tasks, yet often feel ignored or undervalued by those we considered important. In the current world scenario, we all want to feel important to our close circle, but we often end up feeling ignored, as if we don't matter as much to them as they do to us. This is where Stoicism and philosophy come into play. Stoics teach us to find value within ourselves and not depend on constant recognition from others. But how can we apply these teachings in our daily lives to gain priority with those around us? In this video, we'll explore effective strategies aligned with Stoicism and philosophy to earn priority in others' lives or to determine if these people genuinely have an interest in us. It's not about strategies or manipulation tricks, but a wiser and more authentic approach to building genuine and high-value relationships. Ultimately, the people around you define who you are, as the famous saying goes, show me who your friends are, and I'll tell you who you are. If you are not a priority to them, these people likely lack genuine and authentic interest in you. In this ancient philosophy, we find principles for striking a balance between our needs and relationships. The essence lies in being valuable without being needy. The first step to earning priority in others' lives is to create a fear of loss. When you're always available, always responding immediately, people assume you'll be there at any time. In the modern, fast-paced world, time is a precious resource, and Stoicism teaches us to give it its due value. You must let people miss you, allow them to feel your absence occasionally. Stoics remind us that we can't control what happens around us, but we can control how we respond. By valuing your time and attention, you become someone who respects yourself, and others will start to see you as a valuable person because you choose to give them some of your precious time and attention. Don't be afraid to say no or not respond immediately to others' requests. Practice the art of patience and let others value your time as much as you do. Patience is essential to earn priority in others' lives. Stoicism teaches us that patience is a valuable virtue in a world full of distractions and haste. Being able to wait calmly can set you apart and make you a valuable person. Patience doesn't mean passivity, it means maintaining control over your emotions and reactions. When you practice patience, you allow others to see your strength. Don't get carried away by haste or the emotions of the moment, become like a lighthouse in the middle of the storm. Practicing patience lets others grow impatient, but you maintain your serenity. You'll see how people begin to appreciate your presence and control. So, remember, priority begins with yourself. Don't seek constant approval and attention from others, own your time and attention, and you'll see people start to value you more. Another crucial point to be more valued by others is to avoid always being available. If you're the type of person who always says yes to everything, your time loses value, and people may take your availability for granted. Stoics like Seneca teach us that we must own our time and decide wisely how we invest it. Learn to say no to others' requests respectfully. This doesn't mean you're a selfish person but rather someone who values their own needs and priorities before committing to others. In the context of avoiding always being available, the following words of Epicurus take on profound meaning, no man is free who is not a master of himself. Epicurus reminds us that true freedom begins from within, with self-discipline and mastery over our own decisions. Stoicism values living in accordance with our principles and values. By avoiding always being available, you're showing that your time and energy are valuable, fostering greater respect. Consequently, others will prioritize you more. Continuing our quest to be more important and a priority for others, let's touch on the third point, maintaining mystery. We're often tempted to share everything about ourselves with others, sharing our emotions, thoughts, and deepest desires immediately. However, this overexposure can diminish your importance to others. People tend to prioritize what they don't have or have little control over. Instead of revealing all the details of your life immediately, allow yourself to maintain an air of mystery, make people want to know you better. Stoics teach us the importance of self-discipline and self-control, and maintaining a bit of mystery doesn't mean hiding who you are but gradually revealing your true essence. If asked questions, answer vaguely, avoid delving too deeply into your past and don't reveal secrets or significant aspects of your life. This will keep others focused on you. Remember Seneca's famous phrase, fortune favors the bold. In this context, boldness lies in being aware of how much you share and when you share it with others. Leaving space for mystery also encourages curiosity in people, 
when someone feels there's more to discover, they become more attracted to you. Stoicism teaches us to focus on what's within our control, controlling how much you reveal about yourself is something within your control. It's not about hiding who you are but about dosing it wisely. Remember that you don't need constant approval from others, maintain some mystery and discover how people value you for who you are, not just for what you show. Now, we come to the fourth crucial point in our journey to be more important and a priority for others, let them invest in. You. It's not about ego but allowing others to feel valued by contributing to your life. The ancient Stoic Seneca reminded us that men are delighted to be chosen for what enriches them. When you allow others to help you or show appreciation, you give them the opportunity to enrich their own lives. Let others feel appreciated and useful by allowing them to invest in your life. It could be as simple as accepting advice, assistance, or even a kind word. In Stoicism, we understand that we are interdependent beings. We shouldn't fear asking for or accepting help when we need it. Doing so strengthens our bonds with others. Let's return to the core of Stoicism and talk about independence. The ancient Stoic Epictetus taught us, it is not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Independence in Stoicism doesn't mean complete isolation from others but rather autonomy and self-governance. It is the ability to make conscious decisions without overly relying on external approval or influence. By practicing independence, you become a guardian of your own ethics and values, making you more valuable to others as they respect you for your integrity. Independence also allows you to be more genuine in your relationships, not becoming a follower but a companion contributing to the well-being of others. Independence in Stoicism involves self-discipline, self-awareness, and self-control, making you attractive to those who value strong and integral individuals. So, to be more valued by others, cultivate independence. It's not about closing yourself off from the world but about being the captain of your own destiny and guiding others by your example. This approach fosters stronger relationships, making you more valuable in the lives of others. Generosity and openness to allowing others to invest in you will make you more attractive and respected. Remember, the true wealth of life lies in meaningful relationships and connections. By allowing others to invest in you, you create a virtuous circle of mutual value. The fifth point in our journey to be more important and a priority for others is prioritizing your needs. This is essential to learn how to be more valued by others. Often, we end up sacrificing our own needs for the sake of others, leading to overexploitation and a lack of respect for your person. In today's society, there's often a promotion of the idea that we should always be available to everyone. However, this is not only unsustainable but can also lead others to see you as an inexhaustible resource, draining your attention and valuable time. Stoic philosophy teaches us that we must take ownership of our own life and well-being. This involves establishing healthy boundaries and prioritizing our own needs before attending to others. The Stoic philosopher Epictetus expressed this profound idea, first, say to yourself what you would be, and then do what you have to do. This deep statement encapsulates one of Stoicism's fundamental principles, which has a significant impact on how we relate to ourselves and others. Epictetus urges us to engage in an act of self-affirmation and self-knowledge before undertaking any action in life. This self-affirmation involves recognizing our needs, desires, and personal values, understanding that these must be fulfilled before we can be truly valuable to. Others from a Stoic perspective this approach allings with the idea that self-mastery and self-knowledge as the foundations for living a virtuous and meaningful life. To be truly valuable to others, we must first cultivate virtues within ourselves, such as authenticity, resilience, self-discipline, and empathy. Before seeking external approval, we must seek approval from ourselves. This doesn't mean being egocentric or insensitive to others' needs but rather building a solid foundation of self-knowledge and self-acceptance. When we are secure in our identity and goals, we project a confidence that naturally attracts people towards us. Stoicism teaches us to define our values, goals, and virtues through introspection and self-evaluation. By doing so, we can understand who we are and what we represent, establishing an internal compass that guides our actions and decisions. Epictetus's phrase also underscores the importance of action, 
merely affirming ourselves in our intentions is not enough. We must back our words with consistent actions. When we act in accordance with our authentic identity, our actions reinforce our value, attracting those who respect consistency and integrity. Here, we arrive at the sixth crucial point of this video, don't make others the center of your life. In today's society, we often fall into the trap of placing others on a pedestal, losing our own direction. Don't always be available, value your time and attention, and you'll see how this makes you more valuable to others. We've turned social media and others' approval into a constant search for validation and happiness, distancing ourselves from our authenticity and becoming puppets controlled by others' opinions, allowing them to dictate our actions. Stoicism teaches us to be the center of our own universe, to prioritize our passions and goals. By doing so, we become more important and respected by others. The Stoic Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius once wisely expressed, no one can harm you without your consent. Don't let others define or control you. This powerful quote is a reminder that ultimately, we are the guardians of our inner peace and emotional well-being. In a world where others' opinions, criticisms, and judgments can be omnipresent, it's essential to understand that we have the power to choose how they affect us. Stoicism teaches us to cultivate the virtue of selective indifference, meaning we must learn to discern what deserves our attention and time and what does not. We should not let others' opinions define our worth, nor should we be prisoners of external circumstances. By applying this principle in our lives, we can learn to face constructive criticism with humility and ignore unfounded critiques that do not contribute to our growth. We can stop being victims of others' approval and take control of our own narrative. No one can harm you without your consent reminds us that we are the masters of our minds and emotions. It's a call to self-reflection and authenticity, to be who we are without fear of external judgment. When we internalize this stoic principle, we become masters of our own destiny, and our self-esteem and self-respect flourish. This culminates in making us more valuable and important to others. So, as we face challenges and criticisms in our lives, let's remember this powerful truth from Marcus Aurelius, no one can harm you without your consent. Seize that power, maintain your integrity, and move forward with confidence on the path of authenticity and self-discovery. It's not about being selfish but about staying true to your values and goals. People who respect you will be those who support your efforts and don't try to change you. When you don't make others the center of your life, you build healthy relationships based on mutual respect. You'll be valued for being authentic and being yourself. The last point in this video offers advice that might surprise you, stop initiating a conversation. In a world where constant communication is the norm, this may seem challenging, but it has its roots in Stoic wisdom. Stoics, such as Epictetus, reminded us of the importance of listening more than speaking. We have two ears and one mouth for a reason, to listen twice as much as we speak. Allowing others to initiate the conversation lets you learn more about them and about yourself. When you're always ready to talk, you might appear eager and sometimes self-centered, which often pushes people away. Patience and a willingness to listen are qualities that attract others because, as social beings, we value good communication and being heard. Stoics also taught us to control our desire for external approval. You don't need to constantly prove your worth through words, let your character and actions speak for themselves. Allowing others to initiate the conversation shows that you value their thoughts and opinions, fostering stronger relationships. People tend to remember how you made them feel, not what you said. In a world where many struggle to stand out, being someone who listens and values others will make you more appreciated and respected. To be more valued by others, consider stopping the initiation of conversations, practicing patience, active listening, and allowing others to initiate. In summary, the advice shared in this video is just the beginning of your journey towards being more valued by others. Stoicism provides a solid guide for building more authentic and meaningful relationships. Practice these tips and observe how your relationships and overall life begin to transform. You'll be amazed at the difference you can make by applying Stoic wisdom. Remember, the journey to being more valued involves creating a balance between your needs and relationships. Stoicism emphasizes finding value within yourself and not depending on constant recognition from others.
Applying Stoic principles in your daily life, such as creating a fear of loss, practicing patience, avoiding constant availability, maintaining a bit of mystery, allowing others to invest in you, prioritizing your needs, cultivating independence, not making others the center of your life, and letting others initiate conversations, aligns with building genuine and high-value relationships. Ultimately, the people around you define who you are as a person. As the saying goes, show me your friends, and I'll show you who you are. If you are not a priority to them, it indicates that these people may not have a genuine and authentic interest in you. In this ancient philosophy, we find principles to strike a balance between our needs and relationships. The essence lies in being valuable without being needy. In conclusion, applying these stoic principles can significantly impact how others perceive and value you. It's about fostering authentic connections and building relationships based on mutual respect, integrity, and shared values. By practicing these principles, you can navigate the complexities of modern life, staying true to yourself and creating meaningful connections with those who genuinely appreciate and respect you. As you embark on this journey, remember that the true essence of Stoicism lies not only in how it transforms your relationships with others but more importantly in how it transforms your relationship with yourself. I sincerely hope that this message has been useful to you. I want to congratulate you greatly for having come this far and for having finished the video. That means that you want to improve as a person. If you liked the video, leave your comment. If you don't know what to comment, comment I dare, so I know you made it to the end. If you are not yet subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and join us. Thank you for your attention. Until next time.